On this episode of Crypto Moose, together we are going to set up a lace wallet step by step. On top of that, we're going to get into how to back up your wallet, send, receive, and stake your Cardano like a pro. So with that being said, let's dive right in. Welcome everybody, it is Crypto Moose and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. So what we're gonna do is set up our Lace Wallet. I'm gonna teach you guys step by step how to create a new wallet, back it up, send, receive, and then we're gonna get into how you can stake your Cardano. So right now we're a little bit in a bear market, but regardless, um, I wanted to create a 2025 video that would guide a beginner and even an intermediate. Um, so the Lace Wallet is a very good wallet if you wanna get exposure to Cardano and you want a non-custodial wallet, something that you can even pair using a hardware wallet. So it's free to set up and we're gonna get into step-by-step -step how to do this. If you guys get something out of this, like, comment, subscribe. You can also head over to the link tree. In the link tree, we have links to online courses, places for you to pick up a hardware wallet, which we will be using in this video. Also, we have a link to the Hedges Stake Pool. There you can earn 3% APY with your Cardano. So in this tutorial, we are going to teach you step-by-step -step how you can earn some passive income as well. So let's dive right into it. Um, all you need is a pen and a piece of paper. And then going forward, all you have to do is head over to lacewallet.io. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. That's really gonna help us out on the channel. On top of that, we have a link to our link tree. So using the link tree, you can help yourself out in this crypto world. So we have a link to the Hedges Stake Pool, new projects. You can pick up a hardware wallet and save some money. And for this video, you can download this free recovery seed sheet. So you can print that out and write down your words. That will help you out. All right, so feel free to download that seed sheet. We'll get back to it in a minute. Step number one, you are going to download the Lace Wallet. So head over to lace.io. And this is, in my opinion, one of the better wallets. You're gonna easily be able to create a wallet and connect it to different decentralized applications. And going forward, you're gonna see things like Bitcoin DeFi integration and perhaps with other chains as well. So all you're gonna do is head over to lace.io. We will have it in the description below. And all you're gonna do is click on add to browser, okay? So you're gonna add this to Chrome and it's very simple, add extension. So you're gonna need a laptop desktop. Um, this wallet is coming to mobile, but it is not here yet. Um, so we will be doing a tutorial once that becomes available. All right, so our Lace wallet has been added. I already have a few others. What I like to do is click on this wallet symbol and pin it. So now it's going to live right here in my wallet. Step number two, all we're gonna do is create a wallet. So we're gonna click on the Lace logo. And here we have different options. So if you're already using a different wallet, and let's say you already have a bunch of Cardano and you're using your Roy, something like a Jiro wallet, whatever it may be, you can restore your wallet and begin to use Lace. Okay, so if you already have a wallet where you have a seed phrase, you can plug in your words. Typically it's 15 words. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to create a new wallet, but you also have other features. So um, what you wanna do is write down your words properly because if you ever lose your wallet, you can restore the wallet using the restore option, okay? So we're gonna show you how that works as well. So let's click on create. And now we have a couple different options. So we have a scannable QR code, okay? I recommend the 24 word recovery phrase. Um, it used to be 15 with a lot of Cardano wallets. Now we have 24 words. 
Let's click on that. And now we're gonna go to next. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind, these are your seed words, okay? It's a mnemonic seed phrase. And these words are going to represent your private keys. If you lose these words, you are in trouble, okay? Now keep in mind, when you generate a crypto wallet, you are generating a public address, which lives on the blockchain, okay? We'll get into that in a minute. And you also have a private key, which lives in your wallet, okay? So typically on software, if you pick up a hardware wallet, it lives offline, okay? So that's these words. What we're gonna do is write these words down on a piece of paper. Do not share these words with anybody. I'm doing this for a tutorial. So these words on screen, I'm gonna write them all down. So number one, I'm gonna write down scale, okay? And you do not use these words, you use the words that you generate. Number two is false. Number three, is silly, so I'm gonna write these down. What you wanna do is write down each word in chronological order, and then what it's going to do next is make sure that I wrote down my words properly. So I'm gonna skip up a little bit. When you see your words, write them down accordingly. Take your time, because if you ever have to recover your wallet, or maybe plug in these words when the mobile wallet comes out, you're all set. Now it's going to make sure that we have our words written down correctly. So you can copy and paste it. I'm going to type it out. I typically don't like to copy and paste and hold private keys on software. Um, so I like to have everything on paper and offline, if you will. So let's begin to write down our words. You can write down yours and we'll see you in a minute. We just got done writing down our words. Make sure to double check and write everything down as legible as possible. Now we're gonna put in a wallet name and password. So here I'm gonna put Mitch Lace. Now we're gonna put in our password. Make sure the password is long enough and strong enough. And now we're gonna open up our wallet. Congratulations, you have successfully set up your Lace Wallet. What we're gonna do now is get into step number three. That is how to send and receive Cardano. When we first set up our wallet, we generated a private key, which we recovered. Those are our words. So if we ever have to restore our wallet, we could get back to this. Now, when you generate a wallet, you also have a public address which lives on the blockchain. That's going to be this, a ADDR1 and ends in ZVS, it looks like, okay? So that's gonna be in the form of a QR code or just an address like so, okay? So the QR code represents this. So we're gonna copy this address and we are going to receive. So we're gonna go to a different wallet. So here we are going to get into a Euroy, which I've got connected with a Trezor. Okay, so this is another Chrome extension wallet. They do have a mobile app. Using Euroy, or if you are in a Coinbase, Binance, Crypto.com, whatever wallet it may be, you are going to send Cardano to this address. So we could either highlight this, copy and paste, or we can just copy address like so. The way it works is once Cardano gets sent to this address, those ADA tokens will then be stored on the private keys. So only the seed holder will be able to then sign another transaction sending tokens away. So here we are going to copy this address and we are going to send some ADA here, okay? So it ends in ZVS. Memo, we could put moose. I think that's fine. And here we can send some ADA. So let's just do 50 ADA, 29 bucks. And here we're gonna hit confirm. So here we are just going to follow the steps and approve this transaction. Okay, so this is going to be the first transaction that this wallet 
will um, receive for ETA. So of course you could also send NFTs to the wallet, etc. So here we're gonna wait, we're gonna see in real time just how fast this can be, okay? So here we've got the status low. So it was sent, okay? And we're gonna hit it with the refresh and we'll see how long this takes, okay? So basically what we've done is we sent from this address, okay? And we are sending it into our wallet, okay? So here you can also go to send, receive. So we'll get into that in a minute. But if you hit receive, it's going to be this. And you also have advanced mode, etc. So there we go. We finally have a balance. And that was pretty quick. Going forward, I believe this will be much faster as well. So if you wanted to now send Cardano to an address, um, you're going to do a similar thing. So if we want to send it back, all we're going to do is go to your Roy. We're going to go to receive. So one of your buddies or, you know, if you have to send this to another wallet, you're going to copy this address, go to lace, go to send. You're going to paste that address or ADA handle. So I know that an ADA handle I own is going to be red keep. Okay. So that's going to be the same wallet because I have an NFT that in there that is red keep. And here we're just going to do an amount. So let's just say that we're going to send 10 ADA. Okay. So here we could add something else and we're going to review transaction and it's going to cost 0 0.17 ADA. So when you send a transaction, it's going to cost a little bit of Lovelace. So Cardano is divisible by quite a few decimal points. Okay. But one thing you want to keep in mind is that it costs a little bit of ADA. You're spending ADA for the transaction cost. Okay. So here we're going to hit confirm and we're going to put in our password. And there we go. The transaction will complete and show your activity soon. So here we could click on view the activity. So here it is currently sending and you need to have an internet connection. Okay. That is rule number one. If you're having any issues sending or signing a transaction, then it's most likely because you don't have enough ADA in your wallet to process the transaction, or you also don't have an internet connection. Okay. So if you want to send ADA, if you want to send Ethereum Solana, you have to have a little bit of leftover. Okay. And typically you don't want to send your full balance. So here you can see what's going on and yeah, there's a lot more you can, you can do, but that's just the simple, um, you know, receiving sending for you. Okay. So step number four. So what's happening here is that there are stake pool operators. they are people that set up relay nodes and they are supporting decentralization. Um, what you can do is delegate to a specific pool and you can earn a little bit of yield. So one that I just partnered with is the hedges stake pool. So we're going to put hedge. Okay. So it's going to be this one right here. So make sure that you see the pool ID number and it ends two eight E E. Okay. So our goal is to get this to 30 million active ADA in the stake. So what you're going to do is simply put in the, staking pool that you want. So if you're into Kopi, you can type in Kopi. If you're into another channel, another YouTuber you like, you can do that as well. Starting from the top, all you're going to do is click on staking. You're going to type in the pool you want. For me, it's going to be the hedge stake pool. And you want to make sure you're on the right one where the grass is greener. Perfect. Make sure that the pool ID ends in 28. E, e stake all on this pool. Okay. And then confirm portfolio and you're going to pay a staking deposit and then a transaction fee. Um, typically you want to stake more than 20 bucks, but you know, this is something you can do long-term every five days, which represents an epoch. You will earn some rewards, put in your password and there we go. So now this wallet, 
is delegating to the hedge stake pool. Another way you can delegate to the pool is to go to the link tree, click on hedges stake pool. And once you're in there, all you have to do is connect your wallet, click on lace, put in your password. So we're gonna authorize that. And now verify if I'm staking to hedges stake pool. There we go. Also, don't forget to check out the claim rewards under the hedgespool.com. So here we have different things like NFTs and other things going forward. So if you guys do own a Loose Moose NFT, this is something that we are going to add value to um, with the website. So here, if you guys go to JPEG store, we have 500 almost unique NFTs. So we're going to be providing a lot more utility um, with the hedge stake pool website going forward. Um, so going back into the wallet, we're just gonna talk about step number five, which is troubleshooting and other things. So again, if you ever experience any issues, it's most likely because you do not have enough Cardano to cover the transaction. Um, on top of that, maybe you don't have a good internet connection. So to sign a transaction, you need those things um, to do so. Um, you guys can also head over to your wallet. If you ever have to, um, just go to settings. Once you're in settings, go to network, make sure that you are on mainnet, okay? And you're not on pre-prod or preview. So that's important. On top of that, make sure that you back up your seed phrase. You can also download in the link tree. We do have that sheet. So download that, write down your words there if you want to. On top of that, we also have collateral. So if you are planning on interacting with smart contracts, say you wanna to begin to use JPEG store, I would recommend signing this. So you're gonna set up five ETA and now you have collateral set up. So again, this is to help make sure that your transactions get approved, et cetera. So that's all we have for you um, with this segment of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Get into the Hedges Stake Pool, earn some passive income. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, head over to the link tree. In there, you're gonna find a ton of resources. Number one, we have links to pick up a hardware wallet. We have links to delegate to the Hedges Stake Pool, which we've partnered with. We also have links to online courses, and we also have links where you can download your own seed sheet. So I recommend you check that out. And guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other tutorials you would love to see right here on the channel. With that being said, the moose is loose. We'll see you in the next one.